today's video, so I'm gonna be doing a ukulele tutorial video. I recently got a new ukulele from Bondi Ukuleles, and I'm so happy that they sent me this. So you can see that vlog of me unboxing everything and everything else that it came with. The link to buying these ukuleles will be down below so you can go purchase your own ukulele. But without further ado, let's get straight on to the ukulele tutorial. So the song I'm gonna be showing you guys how to play today is Summer Vibes from Walk the Earth. This is one of my favorite songs, and I'm gonna teach you how to play it because it's actually so simple. In the last ukulele tutorial, I showed you guys the basic four chords that are literally in pretty much every song. These are all frets. We've got one fret, two fret, three, four, five, six, all the way down. Each one of these lines is called a fret, but the first step is tuning. In my last ukulele video, I used an app, which is really simple, but recently I got a tuner. You just clip on your tuner wherever you can see it the best, and then turn it on. Usually there's a power button in the middle, on the top, or whatever, but mine is in the back like that. To tune the ukulele, I'm going to look at the tuner, and it's gonna tell me if the chord is too high or too low, starting with this string and going down to the last one. Apparently that's one, that one is in tune. My ukulele was, was already kind of tuned. Using a tuner is actually really simple. I used to be really intimidated by them, but basically it'll just say what string you're on. G, C, E, A. You just go down all of those strings and it'll say G, go a little higher or go a little lower. And it shows you little arrows and you just adjust these knobs until it says green. So now, good, ukulele is tuned. There's four chords in this song throughout the whole entire song, which is amazing. You've got A minor, F, C, and then G. The first one is A minor, and this one is literally the easiest chord, but it's so useful. You just take one of your fingers. I'm gonna use my middle finger because the next chord is F, which I'll show you in a second. But A is just on the second fret up here, and that's A. Then F is super simple, it's just A, but you add a finger right here on the third string. The next one seems quite tricky, but it's G. You put your middle finger down here. It's basically A, because A is up here, but you go all the way down the fret and do it at the end. And then you take your pointer finger and you're gonna put it on A and then move it down one. So it's like this, does that make sense? And then you take your last finger and put it in between, but on the third fret. So in between the two fingers, but on the third fret, like that. And lastly is C. C is so simple, it's literally just this chord down here. It's on the third fret and on the A string. I like to use my middle finger for this just because I feel like it's easier to get back to A. So the only tricky chord in this pattern is G, which you need to practice. The more you practice it, literally the better you get. I used to, you know, go like this, wait 20 seconds while I put my fingers in position, but now I can quickly go from G, from F to G. Now the strum. At the beginning, you're just gonna do one down stroke. Just down on each chord, and then slap the chords down, hit the strings. And you're gonna play that A minor, Hit the strings, F, C, G. And once it gets to the chorus, you're gonna start strumming. Strumming is what you do down here. The strumming pattern for this song is down, down, and use whatever fingers you want. I like to use my thumb. Up, up, down, up. Eventually, your down, down, up, up, down, up is gonna sound like this. I know, it seems tricky, but it's really not. The chorus. Down, down, up, up, down, up, F, down, up, up, down, up, C, G. It's literally that the whole way through. And you just play that the whole way through the chorus, but when it gets back to, I'm da 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 for a good time, hitting beaches all over the coast, that's when you go back to the down strum. Do a down stroke until it gets back up to the chorus again. Once you've gotten the chorus down and the down strokes in the beginning and the middle down, then I like to add, I like to listen to the song and added some like little hits to kind of make the song more interesting. So one thing I like to do is in the beginning, wishing these clouds away. And then I like to go, I wanna feel the sunshine. I like to do two hits, but that's only because in the song, there's like a little two hits in the background. You can kind of hear it. So that would sound like this. Way, I wanna feel the sunshine. Another one I like to do is way past the fourth, first chorus when it says, I'm drinking something blue from a coconut. I like to go, I'm drinking something blue from a 
coconut. But in tomorrow's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly what I do. If you pay attention to what I'm doing on the ukulele, you can see what I like to do to pizzazz the song a little more. Because tomorrow I'm gonna be doing a cover of this song on my ukulele, and I'm really excited about it. It's my first cover I've ever done by myself. Tomorrow's video is what you should be able to play. Anyways, for the bridge, it's the exact same thing. It's um A hit, F hit, C hit, G hit. Isn't that so simple? Like it's crazy. There's other songs where like you use one chord once and never use it again. This song is so simple and it sounds so cute and you guys will get to see how it sounds perfectly when it's totally finished tomorrow. For any song when you play the ukulele, it's tuning, chords, strumming pattern, and I guess in, for this song there's like touch ups with the little knocks, but that's pretty much it. There's just three easy steps and tuning is super duper simple. The app I like to use is this app. It's called Tune for Ukulele. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Remember, A, F, C, G. I love my new Bondi ukulele. Thank you, Bondi ukuleles, for sending me this ukulele. It's so beautiful, and it makes the prettiest sound ever. I hope you learned something from this video, and I'll see y'all in tomorrow's cover. Bye!